Delhi is a scary, dangerous place. Dude, where are we? You are too young to be doing the same things every day, every week. Good morning. We're visiting the factory now. This is my first time since the clothes have actually been designed. Wait, camera is fogging up. Hello. This is on theme with yesterday. We're gonna go do stuff that we don't know how to do. Wait, wait, can we stop the car? <laughs> Listen, there's two of them! Oh my god, that guy's throwing up in the background. It's just all one. <laughs> There are a few fabrics that I had to come source for collection two. I know that's premature because collection one is not done, but we're starting early because I'm here anyway. And we're gonna meet again on Saturday. Tomorrow's the shoot. He's so fun. He has the energy of like Anne Hathaway and Devil Wears Prada. He even quoted Devil Wears Prada today. Stop for Subway. Indian Subway is so good. I got the soy based kebab, sundori tofu, and tuna. No, thank you. And I downed it. It was so, so, so good. Now we're getting ready to go for dinner. Wait, what is this? Is that a real person? I didn't step in it, right? Dead rat, no. It was dead rat, I thought it was poop, I didn't even look. Dead rat? Mm -hmm. Dude, where are we? This is like the best fabric store in Delhi, apparently. Good man, the area's tough. The dog is petrified too. It's all the <laughs> I'm on PTO right now, but messaged my friend that also works at the same company asking when I'm coming back. I did take off a while. I'm not looking forward to going back. It'll lecture me. Do some work. Night. I feel trapped here. You know when you need to be free? I feel like I can't go anywhere or wear what I want. Also, I'm here with two men, my dad and my baba, but they don't get it. When it's 100 degrees, bohat garam, and I still have to keep my cardigan on because my dad told me it's a good idea. That shit. Like, if you know even why I started the brand, I do it anyway because, like, I'm old now and I'm not my young, rebellious self. If it makes everyone feel chill, I'll do it. But I feel so conscious about my physical body and being a woman here. It's not even just me. Like, everyone's making me think that way. My dad and everyone on the streets. I need to be able to run to the grocery store. I need yogurt first thing in the morning without double thinking anything. My problem is probably sound really ridiculous. I'm trying to say anything yesterday when I was trying to go to the bathroom and five guys started walking behind me. I went to go get my dad and I was like, hey, can you just come stand here? And it was really hot and they were following me around all day. And he was like, no. What? It threw me for a loop that he would say no because I was asking him in a moment of just wanted some defense, you know, while I went to the bathroom. There was like all these dudes following me. He said no, but he wasn't even thinking. All the men right now are just like, mm. he apologized after and it was good. I think it was just cranky because it was hot. They were doing the most. My dad and Baba in 100 degrees were taking me around India purely on the basis of me just saying like, hey, I have this idea. I want to create clothes. I'm a little sick, which is why this video was delayed. And on top of that, throw in me fighting him constantly on how I'm dressing in the streets of the number one most unsafe city for women in India. He was annoyed with me. That's okay. If he knew why I had asked him, he wouldn't have said no. But alas, he did. And that was the breaking point. I was just very upset. And I had a lot of other stupid things I was feeling too, which you're about to hear. Delhi was the one city actually in India that I did feel unsafe or like that darkness. You'll see when we do the final shoot. It was really fun, but right now, present day in Sankaranti, which is why we have a horse and snacks going on outside. Check back in with you later. I'm gonna go try to ride the horse. I'll let you know how it goes. Today came, but like, my God, gotta get out of here. This 
feel transactional too. Like when I shoot with my friends in the States, it's fun and we do it because we love it. When I was shooting with Vina, it was the same. It was all love, it was fun. And it makes sense. I mean, it is transactional, I guess it's a business. I'm not doing it for those reasons. I love working with other creatives. I'm not looking forward to going back to work. Oh my god. disguised as Greek yogurt with only five grams of protein. It's my 20 grams. Miss cute and decent guys. I haven't seen a man that hasn't just looked at me like this in like a week. I'm smiling at the girls, but they're not smiling back. I hate that vibe. Get ready with me while I complain and feel oppressed. Even though I have immense privilege and staying in my own hotel room. It's not enough. I need women everywhere to feel like they can wear whatever the they want and go out to the grocery store without being afraid of their lives or how they're perceived because they choose to dress however the fuck it doesn't matter it doesn't what you get it culture is not sex positive anything that goes on behind the scenes when you have a pent up sexual culture you feel shameful therefore you have all of these negative side effects but when you're sex positive everyone's having a good time people that want to be participating participate people that don't want to be participating don't there's consent there's free will it leads into everything sex worker safety human trafficking scene it needs a more sex positive culture because everyone is seen less like sex objects and by everyone i mean specifically women i don't know if that made sense anyway i think we feel like this here right There's a reason why they're behind the camera and they don't like to be in front of it. Let's check on our models. Wow. Hi. We're going to try to shoot sneakily in the hotel because we're not allowed to just go to I posted today's TikTok and Reels before midnight. How should I procrastinate now instead of going to bed? Should I watch Suits? Should I take a shower? I can't scroll on TikTok anymore. It's bad for me. I need a social media break. I can't wait for the Barbie movie. already here so I have to go but really quick I just want to explain how nervous I am I know I'm talking mad shit about how I don't get nervous anymore but I'm nervous today because the girl been super cool this whole time but I feel like I'm batting out of my league today really excited to meet Rhea she's planning on coming to New York next year all of the girls like Chavi Olympia Rhea's girlfriend is coming she is like a fitness god. I'm gonna ask her for her workout routine. I'm um, hopefully I don't embarrass myself today. I'm gonna vlog a little bit. I just want them to have a good time, make them feel super comfortable. I'll let you know how it goes. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go get her. Bye. We're waiting for the car. <coughs> Olympia. Chavi. Yeah, but you can't look at her, she's busy doing something. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> Just like walking around. And yeah. <laughs> It's 
2 a.m. We leave for the flight at 3.45. It was such a good day of shooting. Holy shit. All the content will be out by the time you see this video. Thick group of gal Jem and Rahul with just the icing on the cake and his cyst Abhinav. Chef's kiss. We got the best food at this place called Nando's. I gotta pack all my shit now. Catching the flight to Istanbul and then straight to Houston. There was a guy from the Barcelona club that lives in Istanbul. So I'm just gonna let him know that I'm in a city. But I'm only gonna be there for three hours. I'm so tired. I literally have my software engineering job in 24 hours. I haven't worked in three weeks. I feel like totally different person. But I'm gonna go back and I'll probably get back into it. This has been a dream. By the time you see this video, the collection would have been out for a minute so i wonder like if future shield has sold orders and quit her job already that would be crazy if you're watching this back editing it did we make it i have so much content now it's just a matter of editing and posting things i already miss everyone it's so cute it's a turkey business and it was crazy I rode the horse. Learnings. Just keep doing the things that you've never done but enjoy doing. I swear to you, there will be a payoff. You are too young to be doing the same things every day, every week. You've not met everyone that's gonna have a big impact on you that's incredibly important to you. They are still out there. Live a life so full and do so much that when you're 80 and you look back, you feel like you use your mobility and youth and you're not even upset about being wrinkled and not being able to do anything. And fuck your nine to five. I mean, only if you don't enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, like fuck your nine to five. That is not your end game. If you don't enjoy it, you need to be doing everything your power to get out of it. I've been watching Stranger Things, so everything I'm just like you right now, the youngest you're ever going to be, and the least disillusioned you're gonna be with life. If you're already disillusioned, snap out of it, okay? That was me for a while. That was me from like 19 to 21. You're not done yet. Delhi is a scary, dangerous place. That was the perception going in, and that was the experience I felt. Even though I was very protected, I was with people that knew what they were doing. Personally, I prefer Mumbai, so I would be careful if you do go to Delhi. I do go a lot still because I have Serini manufacturing set up there, so I go a few times a year. That was episode seven, Delhi. I'll see you next week for New York, July 11th launch date. Thank you for watching. Sorry this week was late. I was sick. I'm still sick.